if this next trial fails, Jerry will die, and what becomes of me? This is day number 289 that Jerry has been holding me, and the little girl inside of me keeps thinking, my mom is coming to save me. I know it's silly, and I know my mother isn't a god, but I've always seen her as some kind of a superhero. And I keep thinking that at any moment, she's gonna come busting through that door to take me home. Oh yes, Frisco Jones, please. You'd think that I would get used to imprisonment, but they say some people actually do, but nope. Not I. Time hasn't dulled the ache to be home with the people that I love. I wonder all the time, what are they doing? What are they, are they even thinking about me? Does Emma miss me? Does she even remember me? Mom, have you decided what you want to be for Halloween? Yeah. Mm. Well, if you can't think of something really fabulous, you could always go as an Aztec princess. Oh, wow. Ooh. What do you say? It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we can get it resized. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Fisha. Mm. Aww. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetheart. How do you wear it until we fix it? Oh, I don't know if I'm an Aztec princess type. What do you think? Where's your wedding ring? No telly until you do your homework, Doctor. I have been working all day. Well, you may have worked all day, but I gave you this video as an incentive to spur you on, not as a distraction. I am already doing everything that I can. Well, maybe you should do more. Need I remind you of the consequences if you fail? No, it's not necessary. You've only reminded me about Cure a thousand me. times. Or you're never returning to Port Charles. To put it bluntly, you'll lose your husband, your daughter, to that beautiful Sabrina Santiago. Forever. Did you lose your wedding ring? No, I would never lose anything so special. Then why aren't you wearing it? <clears throat> well, because I'm not gonna wear it anymore. So I put it in a safe spot so I, I wouldn't ever misplace it. Why don't you want to wear it anymore? I kept that ring on so I would never forget about your mom, so it would always remind me of her. But you know what? I don't need it anymore because every time I look at you, you remind me of her. And she's in my heart and your little smile and your funny little laugh. <laughs> because she's everywhere, right? She's never ever far away from us. What's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, we were talking. About what? About Robin. Your cure is coming. Science takes time. I'm beginning to think you're stalling, Doctor. And why would I do that? Well, perhaps you're betting that if I drop dead, your chances would improve. Trust me, they won't. If I die, you join me. And if I manage to save you, what's to stop you from killing me then? My word. Well, I find that less than reassuring since you already tried to kill me. Oh, come on. I had a lobby full of hostages. I wanted them to be suitably intimidated. And shooting you was a means to an end, and I was very careful about the placement of the shot. I gave you a reasonable amount of survival, and to survive, you did. I want assurances that when this is over, you will let me go unharmed. I'm afraid you're going to have to take my word for it. And if that's not enough, too bloody bad. Now take this time and energy and put it in your work. Otherwise the family reunion you so long for won't be in this life, but the next. Yeah, thanks, Frisco. I need help, any help at all that WSB can give us. We greatly appreciate it. Yes, thanks, I, I gotta go. Nicholas, Dr. Westbourne, yes. What can I do for you? Uh, Commissioner, have you found my son? No. 
I'm afraid not. Uh, it's been 24 hours since Lisa Obrecht took Ben from Spoon Island. Uh, surely you've made some progress, a clue, a lead as to the whereabouts of Britt's mother, no? As a matter of fact, I have. Most impressed by your temporary cure to keep me alive. You've done a bang-up job. Nothing like a little positive feedback, don't you think? Cheerio. Keep up the work. Come on. You see my little schnitzel? Oh, here we are to meet the man I told you about. Oh. What is that? A baby. And he has a name. You may call him Cesar. I know it's a bloody baby. What's it doing here? I couldn't leave my grandson alone. And your hired thugs are useless. What do they know about caring for an infant? Let me repeat the question. What is your slobbering grandson doing here? He couldn't stay with his mother. Her plans for him were pff, inadequate. You kidnapped him? I liberated him. So you went back to Port Charles, where you wanted by the police, kidnapped him, and came back here? You have a firm grasp on the obvious. Have you lost your mind? Your daughter won't rest till she finds her son. Which means the police, the WSB and Anna Devane will be alerted. You might as well have brought the authorities right here. I told you we could count on her. So you located my mother? No, your mother is still at large. But you just said that you... Got... You know, I said I have a lead. I don't have a location. It's... it's a start, Brett, okay? What, what kind of lead? Well, my detectives have been working around the clock since you informed us that your son was kidnapped, to find a trail. So it seems that your mother left Spoon Island by a chartered boat, where she was then met on the mainland with a hired car, which we then traced to a private airstrip just outside of town. She took off in a plane. Well, she couldn't have just vanished. There has to be a, a flight plan. Yeah, well, if there was, it's been expunged. But that, that's not possible, though. Yeah, actually it is. Obrecht has covered her tracks, which is no mean feat. She's not working alone. She has help. Powerful help. I know how to cover my tracks. The tracks? Well, <laughs> that proves my point. They need to be covered. I was deceiving better women than Anna Devane when you were in Nepis. She will not find us here. Still, a search is underway where there was once none. A search that could get us caught. I had no idea you were so timid. That is not your reputation. Oh, shut up. I can't afford delays or distractions so you can see your grandson. Have you ever heard of Skype? My plans for little Cesar require more than a glimpse of his digital image. Which reminds me, I need a babysitter. Oh, don't look at me. Trust Cesar with you. <laughs> you are many things, Jerry. Paternal, you are not. No, we have another idea. Don't we, Lipien? Dr. Westmore, I don't think this is the time of I don't think this concerns you, Nurse Santiago. Actually, it does. What is this? Fine. Stay. Although you may wish you had. Well, I'm never going to know until you spit it out. Patrick, I have great news. I'm pregnant. You won't have it. Need I remind you who brought Robin to you in the first place? I can just as easily remove her. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'd like to see you try to stop me. Now, are you going to get out of my way? Did your mother ever mention an associate? My mother didn't confide in me. Right. Well, then, I can only assume it's Faison. But he's being held in Steinmauer, which is a maximum security prison, and he hasn't had any visitors or phone calls for months, so... What can we do to help? Has the baby's father been informed that his child is missing? I know this may come as a surprise, but will you find it in your heart to celebrate with me? Pregnant. Our baby's gonna be so beautiful. Good morning, little bird. Oh, Brett. Come, come, we're peers. You can call me Lisa. What do you want? I hate to be a buzzer, but I need you to look after this little schnitzel while conducting your research. 
So now I'm a babysitter? I thought you'd like a roommate. What is this, some kind of trick? You thought that I would be so horrified by the sight of you anywhere near a child that I would just do whatever it is that you wanted? I'm afraid you're overthinking a simple request for child care. <laughs> I am not in the mood for manipulations. I have work to do. Perhaps you'd change your mind if you knew his parents. What does that have to do with anything? It's not my child. But he is your husband's. Ben's biological father has no interest in him. You see, if Obit contacts him, he needs to be informed so that well, he... Well, you can contact him. It's not going to do you any good. His only connection to Ben is his DNA. Should there be a ransom My demand? mother doesn't need money. And even if she was interested in that, we definitely couldn't get it from Ben's father. He has none. Well, I do. And I care about Ben. Look, we will do whatever is necessary to find him and bring him home and make sure that Obrecht is brought to justice, okay? I want this as much as you do. Because she is wanted in connection with the attempted murder of both Duke Lavery and Robert Scorpio. Okay. Is there anything that we can do? Anything? Well, I don't know. It's really a waiting game at this point. You just have to sit tight, and you need to notify me should Obrecht contact you. Oh, 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 okay, Commissioner. We'll just follow your orders and sit tight. While my son is God knows where with my mother, doing God knows what. This is Patrick's son? Yeah, I stopped listening to your orders and started thinking for myself. I told Patrick that Ben isn't his son. A bundle of joy, nicht wahr? And that's his mother. That striking woman on the video. Britta. My daughter. Patrick. Had a son with your daughter. It was such a good match. Uh, but you know, Patrick, he's insatiable. He quickly tired of Britta and moved on to that slatternly nurse, Sabrina Santiago. No. I don't believe you. You expected Patrick to remain faithful to your mem? No, I just... I don't... I, I can't... I mean, Patrick had a child with another woman? Dr. Westbourne, I understand how difficult this is for you. I doubt that. Well, I do. My daughter, Robin, was taken when she was young. And the weight and the despair are unbearable. Yeah, Robin, uh, she actually told me about that, that kidnapping. She did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, she said that she was so young, she barely understood what was going on. But the one thing she knew for sure was that you were coming to find her. She had absolute faith in you. It's an impossible situation. <sighs> Racked with anxiety. But I had reason to hope back then, you see, Dr. Westbourne. Britt. And you have reason to hope now. Thank you for everything. Yeah. And please just keep us informed. I will see to it that Ben is brought back to you safe and sound. Let's go. daughter, Britta, got pregnant by Patrick. And this is their son. As I said. Why is it taking you so long to grasp this? Because it doesn't make any sense that my husband would have a child with another woman. <laughs> there is no mystery to this. Patrick is not a man known for his fidelity. And Britta is very, very attractive. Well, maybe she had some help from you, Obrecht. Just how involved is your daughter in all of this? Huh? Does she know that I'm alive? 
If you knew my daughter, you'd know your question is absurd. Britta is troubled by an overactive conscience and a lack of willpower. I cannot trust her with anything. If I told her you were alive, she might have found the knowledge too much to bear and informed Patrick, despite the countless ways he's wronged her. Well, if the relationship didn't work out, I'm sure it wasn't Patrick's fault. You refuse to admit what you already know. Patrick Drake simply cannot be trusted among women. I'm really not hungry. Can I just want to go home. No, not until you've had something to eat. you got to keep your strength up. Watch out. It's the brick. Hey, watch your language. <clears throat> it's okay. How's your little boy, Brett? He's, uh... He's missing. What? Ben's been kidnapped. By my mother. Mein Liebchen, Dr. Scorpio Drake may be a sour little thing, but she's not entirely heartless. I trust she'll take good care of you. So why is he here, of all places? If this is Patrick's son and your daughter's son, what are you doing with him? He's very important to my plans. Mm. Aren't you my little schnitzel? What plans? Wouldn't you like to know? Robin, wherever you are, please help me find this little boy. Anna? Oh, yes. Holly just called. What? Robert's awake. 